In this video, we will add motion sensing capability to a Halloween decoration that you can buy at a local store. By latching onto the Try Me demo button on these decorations, we can trigger the animation and sound effects for the decoration whenever motion is sensed. We'll do this by adding a passive infrared sensor to the top of the decoration using a custom 3D printed mount and a custom circuit to monitor for motion from the detector and then trigger the decoration's effects. Here is the schematic for our custom circuit. It starts off with four AA batteries in series that are connected to a five volt voltage regulator to ensure that the rest of the circuit doesn't get any more than five volts. The initial star of the circuit is gonna be the passive infrared sensor that's mounted on the top of the decoration. When it senses motion, it's gonna send a high on its output pin, pin two. The rest of our circuit is gonna look for a falling edge low signal in order to trigger the animation and sound effects. So we're gonna send that high into a transistor setup that's going to invert the logic, send that high to a low. That low, once, once it's triggered, is gonna be passed on down to our 555 timer which is set up with 20,000 ohms of resistance and a 470 microfarad capacitor, which is going to run the whole window of time that the decoration needs in order to have the animation and sound effects complete. If you don't set this up and allow it to hold the, re the relay closed for that time frame, you can get a stuttering effect where the decoration will stop midway and then maybe restart again if it's triggered multiple times with the motion sensor. So it's important to make sure you have that covered. The 5.5 timer is in monostable mode. When it does trigger, it's going to send a high output on pin three and hold that there for the time window that the decoration will require. That output on pin three will go down to a transistor, which is going to ground out the rest of the relay and allow the um, relay to engage and close out the connection that normally would be done by the demo try me button. The relay is gonna hold that connection closed for the entire time window that the 555 timer is driving it. And that will allow the animation and sound effects to run through until they're done. And then it will open up again and allow the decoration to trigger again if it does sense more motion. Here's the prototype board with the relay and the 555 timer configured and the voltage regulator. The black and red and blue wire goes up through the 3D printed mount to the motion sensor, passive infrared sensor, and the two yellow wires go down to where the try me button would have been to connect those and activate the decoration when motion happens. All of it is connected to four AA batteries. Here's a look at the 3D printed mount for this decoration. The passive infrared sensor gets inserted into this top circle here, and then the wires go down through the channel, through the shaft, all the way to the bottom piece here, where there's an opening, and they come out, and then straight to the circuit board. When you are measuring to mount something like a passive infrared sensor, measure the diameter using a caliper, and then add about 2.2 millimeters to the diameter before you issue the design within the 3D rendering software, modeling software, so that the um, piece actually fits in snugly. If you make it the exact size, it won't fit in. Here are a few examples of the motion activated decoration being staged. First, it will go off when somebody approaches. The second example will go off as somebody just passes it and go off again because there is still motion in front of it after it completed the effect cycle. And the third will go off as somebody walks in front of it in a semi-darkened area. Please leave any questions or comments down below. If you found this video helpful or entertaining, please consider liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching.